Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Code Coach with Profanis. In this video, we will see how to apply a bidirectional communication between two components, say parent-child, using the model function that has been introduced in Angular 17.2. We'll start this video by seeing how to have the parent-child communication prior to the model function, and then we will improve our code and make it fresh. So, let's get started! The example that we are going to see is very simple and what we can see here on the left side we have the parent component and on the right side we have the child component. And the child component has one input and this is a required one and the name is name of type string. And then into the child component we have just the input type text where we have the ng model of name. Then on the parent component what we have is we have the child component and we're providing the name which is just the username. And other than that, we have here just the interpolation of username. So if we go into the browser, we see just this thing. And if we start typing anything here, we can see that this value is not reflected here. So at first, let's see how can we reflect any change that we're doing into this input field, which is from the child component, we would like to reflect that here, which is the parent component. So let's give that a try. At first, what we need to do is to have here an output. So I will type here my output, and the output will be just a name. I will have it like name update here, and this is going to be new event emitter. And whenever we have any change from the input, and we can grab the changes using the ng model change event we can emit the name update. So I will emit that, and as argument, I will provide the dollar event. And the dollar event is the argument, the event argument of this event. So since we have that, then what we can do is the following. We can grab the name update from the parent one, and we can be like the name update, and I would like to handle that by a handler. And my handler will be the name update, let's say handler, no more than that. And here we have to provide also the dollar event. And the dollar event again will be the event argument of that event. And here let's say my dollar event. And let's also create here the name event handler, which is going to be a name string. And the only thing that we want to have is update the username with this name. So let's go to the browser to see what we have. If I start typing here, what we can see is that the value from the child component is being reflected to the parent one. Nice. So it seems that we have already managed to have a bidirectional communication between parent and child. What I don't like here is that we have to have the name, a property binding, and the event binding. Can we have something like that here? So let me delete this guy. So if I hover over here, what we can see is that here, into the bit below, it says, are you missing an output declaration called name change? It seems that there is a convention name and we can achieve the two-way binding banana in a box by changing the name of this output. So instead of update, I will have that to change. So name change here and name change here. And as you can see, we no longer have any error here. And what is happening is that the username is getting updated whenever we have an event from the name change, which is this guy. So we no longer need to have this method anymore. Nice. So let's go to the browser to see what we have. And yeah, it seems that whatever we are typing, it's being reflected to the parent. So we have achieved the two-way communication in a nice way. How about now, if we replace that, replace both the input and the output with the model. So here, what I'm going to have is just a name. I will start by this, and this is going to be a model. And please know that the model has been imported from the Angular core, and this is just a function. So here we have the model, and also the model, the type of the model is model signal. So let's have that here, model signal of type string, and the underlying implementation of model signal is a writable signal. So here we have an error, and the error says that type string or undefined is not assignable to type string. Why is that? 
because by default the model is nullable and we can make it something like that model.required to have a required name otherwise if we don't want to have that as required and we want also to have the model signal here perhaps we can have something like that but for now let's make that required so this is our input and it will behave in a bidirectional way so here we have the ng model and then we have the ng model change and of course we have to refactor that and since we no longer have an event emitter what we have to do is name.set and we would like to set a new value and the value is the event argument of this event which is the ng model change and here we have to invoke that as well so let's go to the browser just by having this to see what is happening and it seems that we have a bidirectional communication despite that here we have a banana in a box and it seems that this is a great way and we no longer have this hidden functionality of change convention nice and please also note that here we are providing a username which is a non-signal value how about if we have that as a signal value so let's give that a try here i would like to have just my signal and the value will be profanis and again here we have to provide the username without invoking that we don't need to have the getter here but we need to have the getter here and again, if we go to the browser, we expect everything to work as expected. And yeah, it works nice. Another function of the model is that we can also provide, other than the required, we can also provide the alias. And the alias, let's say this will be my first name. As you can see, immediately we have an error here. And the error denotes that there is no model with a name name, uh, but we have the one with first name. And I really like having this kind of thing here. We have the first name in a banana in a box, but we do not have that here into the ng model. Into the ng model, we still have the property binding and the event binding. How about now, since we have the model, can we convert that to a banana in a box, something like that? And it seems that we do not have any error, any compilation error, but how about if we go to the browser to see what is happening? And yeah, it works just great. And let's also delete this kind of thing. And it seems that we have already managed to use the model both into the ng model and also into the parent-child communication. But like we said previously, the model signal, the underlying implementation of model signal is a writable signal. What this means is that perhaps we can utilize also a computed signal. So let's give that a try. I will create one more input here and the input will be my user. And this is going to be a model signal of type user. I have already created this user. So this is required and I don't want to provide any additional options. Into my template, I don't want to use the user, but I want to use two properties of that user. So let's go to the interface to see what we have. So we have the ID, first name, last name, email, phone, and website. And I would like to grab only the first name and last name in a way to expose that like a full name. So let's go to the child component and do the following. I'm going to have here my full name and my full name will be a computed property and the computed will be based on my user. So let's have here the following. I want to grab my this dot user dot first name. And I also want to grab this user last name. Something like that. And then I want just to have into an interpolation. Let's just have a paragraph tag here. And I want to have my full name. Nice. No more than that. And please note that this is a signal and we have to grab the getter. So let's now go into the parent component, which we already have a complaint here. And we would like to provide our user. At first, let's create the user here. So the user of type signal user will be something like that. So I will grab now the user and I will provide that to the user. And we have to grab the getter here, since in this case, we would like to have only a one-way communication, not two-way communication. So having that, let's go to the browser to see what we have. And it seems that we, we just have 
our user and here we are displaying the funds prodromo which is the computed variable from the user signal so this is what i wanted to share with you today please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell see you in the next video